Hi there, Release Fire here. So next up on the hit list in Paper Mario the Origami King is the Rubber Band Boss Fight. It takes place in Shogun Theatre in Shogun Studios and it's relatively easy but there are a few specific mechanics that you need to be aware of so hopefully this video is going to help you out and help you beat it. If it does, drop me a like below. But essentially what you're trying to do is use the 1000 fold arms as much as possible. So you can see here I'm trying to go all the way around and get an inroad to be able to get to that. So just twist in around the outside and then that will give me an on button and the 1000 fold arms over on the uh, 11 o'clock position and then I've also got a two times impact that I'm just moving down there just to make better use of the moves and then you can see this is going to do a huge amount of damage. You can also see from that note that you should use the rubber band panels and the reason you should use them is because you'll take them out of the equation and you'll need to use them to travel up later in the boss fight. However, for now, you just need to get up to 1000 fold arms and press grab on its head and then you'll be able to pull back. So you need to pull back on the, uh, on the controllers towards you to be able to stretch it as far back as possible and then let go of ZL and ZR to be able to do your damage. And that was quite a good hit. It takes off quite a lot. However, it's got this whole regeneration thing that it does, which is also the reason why you shouldn't use, uh, use any of the normal attacks on it, because when you do those, it regenerates a huge chunk and it's just a wasted move. But for now, you just need to block the band that it fires at you if you haven't been able to clear them out a little bit. And then I'm gonna show you here what happens when you do a normal attack. You can see it looks like I've pretty much taken him out of the equation very early on and gotten him down to the, like, the last 25% of its health. However, it just this huge regeneration where it just builds back all of its health back into itself. So it's just a wasted move. So you're best to focus on the 1000 fold arms. So what you're looking to do is get yourself into a good position to be able to get those. So I've just moved things around there and I'm gonna travel up the bands that it's got around the board. You can see there's one at the one o'clock position, at the two o'clock position, and then another one at the four o'clock position that's gonna take me to the 1000 fold arms pad. And I've also got the on switch on the way around. And I've also got a heart to pick up, which you kinda need because it can do a lot of damage. And that should help me to get in another chance to do the 1000 fold arms attack and do some more damage on the rubber band boss. And then you can see he hasn't got very much health left by this stage. So I just need to get in one more attack. So just positioning it to be able to get in the attacks there. So you can see he's gonna travel around again and travel up the bands. And then I just need to switch things around so that I actually get a 1000 fold arms uh, pad to be able to hit him. So you can see I'm gonna travel up the bands, up the bands, picking up the heart on the way. And then that's in a perfect position to be able to do a big amount of damage. And then after that turn, it's down to just the last band and you just need to get in a simple hit. But again, you're going to need the 1000 fold arm pad. So you need to set things up to hit the on switch, which I'm doing as I travel around to the right. And then I'll travel up, pick up the case, which I don't think it did any benefit to me, but it was just there in the way. Uh, and then I'll travel to the right to the pad and that is pretty much everything done and dusted. And then when you get around to the pad, this is where things get a little bit more interesting because the mechanism is totally changed. In this situation, you need to just bring up the arms and try to aim for its head and press ZL and ZR as quickly as you can as it's bobbing and weaving out of your way. As soon as you get it, you can then smash it up and down with your controller and then you want to pull back the pad with ZL and ZR and then release to be able to finish it off. And that is how to beat the rubber band boss here in Paper Mario, the Origami King. Like I said earlier, hopefully the video helps you out. If it does, drop me a like below. You can also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already with the links on the left hand side and check out the rest of my guide and walkthrough series for Paper Mario, the Origami King with the links on the right hand side.